it's incredibly poor. And you know, when you say people are well armed, everyone has an AK-47, and if you consider it arms, everybody has one of these curved knives that are traditional. But these AK-47s are, it, it's just kind of tradition for every man to carry one. It's not like they're armed and waiting for Americans to come to kill and, and allied with Al-Qaeda types. But that said, it's a very sentimental, very conservative population. And I, I agree with, um, with Mr. Iriani, who you interviewed previously. I mean, any US presence, whether it's drone strikes, troops, certainly, CIA types that are visible. I mean, I think that that part of it's important, but you know that would just exacerbate the situation. I was talking to the foreign minister. This was before the Christmas bombing about Guantanamo, and the you know the population doesn't consider the people that are at Guantanamo the worst of the worst or even guilty. I mean, with with good reason, they suspect that they're not. And those that return to Guantanamo, I mean they try to reintegrate them. The foreign minister said, look, these people aren't necessarily proven guilty of anything, and we'd like to try to reintegrate them. I mean, that's, that's a perspective that we need to understand. And this talk of retribution against Yemen as a country or Yemenis as a people, you know, you said that Obama didn't use the war of the, the language of the war on terror, but he kind of did. And it's, it's so general, and all of the stuff that you see on the cable channels is so general, I find it pretty ridiculous. <laughs>